Well, we're starting off with the cold temperatures and the snow will be arriving later today. Already a winter weather advisory has been issued for this afternoon. That's going to include a good portion of our northwestern counties and will last until midnight tonight. These areas, including Wilbarger, Hardeman, Ford, Tillman, Jackson and Comanche County can expect to see upwards of around one to three inches of snow. And there's also that warning stretching all the way through the Panhandle region. We are expecting to see a pretty good amount of snow across northern portions and western, por northern portions of Texas and western portions of Oklahoma today. The low pressure region that's producing the lift for the snow is still off a little bit further towards the west. It won't be, it'll, it'll be a little while before it makes its way here into Texoma. So we don't expect to see the snow just yet. But once it starts moving, the snow will be making its way into our area. We can expect to see that arriving by around 1 p.m. For this morning, we do have the cloudy skies already making their way in. We'll be partly cloudy to start off the day, becoming mostly cloudy by this afternoon. The snow already producing a pretty good amount of uh, snowfall in Amarillo. Several areas reporting around a half an inch to an inch of snow already accumulating on the ground. As we continue on throughout the morning, temperatures are cold enough for the snow to be accumulating down into the 20s for many areas. In fact, most of us are at around 27 to 28 degrees this morning. We even have a few areas a little bit chillier, Graham at 23. Compared to yesterday, we're around 10 to 15 degrees colder, and we even see those clouds outside on our outdoor camera. Winds out of the north right now at around 9 miles an hour. Temperatures down to 27 degrees at Shepherd. By this afternoon, that low pressure region will be pushing further off towards the east, bringing us the chance of some snow flurries. And as it makes its way into our area, we'll see it pushing a little bit further south. Most models now in agreement that at least all that all of us will at least see trace amounts of snowfall in the area before that system clears off towards the east. By tonight, we expect the snow and rain to subside, but the cloudier skies will be sticking around into Thursday. Now, several of the models do have up to around two to three inches of snow in areas off towards the northwest. Altus could see over two inches, closer to an inch in Frederick, Vernon, and Kroll. Then as we get further towards the southeast, well, there's drier air up above, not as much fuel for that snow to develop off of. Trace amounts for most of our southeastern counties, and we're not expecting to see the snow sticking on the ground due to warmer afternoon temperatures. The future cast has the partly cloudy skies sticking for our Thursday, but then by Friday and Saturday we'll be clearing out and we do expect to be warming up quite a bit for this weekend. But for this afternoon, northwestern county is not warming up at all thanks to the snow. That's going to suppress temperatures and keep things close to freezing in Altus, Quanah and Kroll throughout the course of the day. Getting slightly warmer as we move off towards the southeast and areas that will be waiting a little bit longer into the afternoon, seeing a little bit more sunshine, will be warming up into the mid to upper 40s like Bowie, Jacksboro and Grand. For this afternoon, most of us will be in the upper 30s, and our snow will help start to cool us down by this evening with temperatures dropping pretty quickly. We do expect a little bit of accumulation, especially in our northwestern counties, not so much off towards the southeast. By tonight, temperatures will be down into the 20s, cloud cover decreasing, and we will be warming back up into the 50s to melt away any remaining snow for tomorrow.